Welcome back to the Player Caribbean series, guys. Today we have the craziest set of fixtures yet in this series. We're starting off with a away game against Liverpool. I'm so excited to play at Anfield. That's been a dream of mine in my whole career. Then we have the UCL. We need to see if we can make it into the next uh, round, the knockout stages. And obviously, guys, Manchester City as well, which, uh, I mean, they haven't been doing incredible this season. But City is always going to be a tough team to beat, guys. And I've been dreaming about having the chance to play at Anfield in my career. So today is going to be a very special day, guys. Let's get into it and see if we can get the three points. You Never Walk Alone is being sung around the stadium. Let's see if we can score against uh, the cop, guys. But, I mean, this Liverpool team has changed a lot. I barely recognize any of the... The same players they used to have. Allison is still playing for Liverpool. Who else? I mean, Chukwueze, Gakpo is there. Endo doesn't really matter who plays. You know, beating them at Anfield is always difficult. And uh, here is Luis Diaz. Over to New Dogi. Are Liverpool gonna get the first chance? No. Maybe Arsenal though. Sander against the cop, and we have gone past Van Dijk. Come on, keep going, Sander, and finish it! No! We cannot score our first chance at Anfield, guys. And the club is watching on. You know what usually happens if uh, you play well against Liverpool. When I used to visit Anfield, I used to be sitting to the left of where I'm standing right now. And that's, that was my seat every single year. I traveled like from when I was 10 years old to 19 years old every single season before covid so um that was special and it's great to be back here now as a as a football player you know not just a uh, fan in the stands so here we go sander on the ball can i make my dream come true and score at anfield come on finish it and ah, no they've still got allison you know which is one of the best keepers in the world That is a terrible throw, and is that a corner kick? No, it's a goal kick, but, um, you know, Liverpool are looking a little bit nervous, uh, I would say. You know, they've lost so many players. I don't see McAllister, Sabasola, Salah, Jota. You know, where is, uh, where is the guys? I don't know. And here we go, Sander, and this time, it's a knockable into the top 90. Oh my god, what a feeling. To score against Liverpool and that's probably not the celebration I wanted to do there but uh, you know we, we have the uh, we have the crazy gene inside of us as we saw in the last episode with the red card so yeah I'm a bit of a crazy player Gokpo has instantly equalized Liverpool making 1-1 is this guy the new Salah replacement? He finds Gokpo and Gokpo has done incredibly right there to make it 2-1 to Liverpool. And where is this coming from? Liverpool with uh, out of nothing guys, a comeback. Come on, finish and no again. It's just over the goal. What is going on? Endo! And Liverpool have made it 3-1! I don't understand. I haven't seen Arsenal collapse like this any time that I've been here against any team. I cannot believe it. It's, you know, we go up 1-0 as well and Anfield just... It's gotta be because of my celebration. I must have triggered something for the Liverpool supporters and the players. Why would I do that celebration, man? Now we're 3-1 down against the weak Liverpool team. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Almost an own goal. This is uh, a horrible performance, but come on. Can we have a dream start to the second half? Get past this guy and... No, oh, Van Dijk gets there. Come on. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it and it gets into the crossbar. Nah, man, I could have had more goals today. Mistake from Allison. Kimmich and no, oh, he gets back. 
and he rescues himself there. Oh my god, I really thought that was gonna be the goal there that would uh, put us back into this match. 30 minutes left guys and Gokpo is destroying the Arsenal defence today. I haven't seen a player do this to Arsenal this season. Here comes Liverpool again. Brahim, are they gonna finish the game? And what a save from Ramsdale. Into early goal. Come on, Martin has hit the post. No man, we have been very unlucky this game. And Liverpool have done it guys, 4-1. Why did I do that celebration? I cannot believe it. I cannot believe what's actually happened in this match, you know. I mean, I haven't seen us concede more than, you know, a few goals in a Premier League game this season. But even though Liverpool is not at their strongest, we lose it 4-1. That is so bad, and even though this is the best team Arsenal has had in like maybe 20 years. We cannot beat Liverpool. That is so annoying. Come on, Sander. At least finish the game on a on a positive one. Kimmich and Kimmich have scored! Okay! I mean I really thought Allison was gonna save that one. He has saved all of the others, but uh, not this one I guess. So 4-2. It's not a good result for Arsenal, and that is now back-to-back -back losses, guys, in the Premier League. We obviously lost the last one uh, to Aston Villa at home, and now we've lost this. So, I mean, we might be done, guys, in the title race already. Anyway, now we're back in the Champions League. As we can see, after four matches, we are on 10 points, which means that if we can win this game against Betis, we are confirmed to make it into the knockout rounds, which I'm uh, excited about. Uh, we can take a quick look at the stats in this competition and wow, Nunes has uh, 10, no, 7 goals in 4 matches, he's now actually at Tottenham, uh, but we have 10 goals in 4 matches, so uh, yeah guys, we are currently at the top of the rankings here, uh, if we can go really far, we might have a chance at breaking that uh, record. So let's get into this one guys and bounce back after that terrible result against Liverpool. Our poor form continues. We can see the first goal in this Champions League match. What is going on guys at Arsenal? This has to be the worst period since we joined the club. What am I seeing? Betis almost get themselves another goal. And they have, haven't even won a game this UCL season. They have just got one point in the groups so this would be so bad if we cannot win Martinelli though back to Sander we give it to Ødegård and Martin bro you gotta score that nah this is so bad guys I don't understand what's going on and we're 2-0 down at home Come on, can we at least get one goal? Finish it, and oh, what a save! I didn't think I would uh, be able to get off uh, the attempt there, but you know, the keeper is um, denying us this time. But Arsenal is playing a little bit better, I guess. Really good. Sander finishes, and again, denied by the keeper. But um, you know, hopefully, we can play like this in the second half and make a comeback here. You know, if we lose this game and we lose the next one in the UCL, then we are not going to make it through, I think, so. I don't know why we got to make it so uh, difficult for ourselves, though. Maybe the... What? What is that? I cannot hit the target. Yeah, 
Yes, Jorginho. Really good. We'll give it to Martinelli. Yes, Arsenal. Can they get one? Oh, they got it. Saka! The star boy has got one back. That is more like an Arsenal. But they still need at least one more goal here. It is opening up for Arsenal now. Betis are a little bit nervous, it looks like. And Rafinha, can he get a goal? No. Betis on the attack again. Are they actually going to get one more goal? If they do, I think this game is uh, over. But uh, the supporters are um, keeping up uh, the good spirits. They believe we can do it. And Gabriel there with a tackle. Only 20 minutes left though, guys. Yes, Rafinha, what a tackle. We give it back to Rafinha. Can he give it back again? Center! Martinelli! No! Betis on the attack and Mukuku have actually made it 3-1 to Betis. What a finish that is to beat Ramsdale from that distance. Can we get one more chance? Ah, uh, that's it. 3-1 at home. These last two matches have been awful, guys. I mean, you know, results like this can happen, but it, it's happening too often. And the, the fact that we, we're not just creating enough right now. We're gonna have to try to fight, guys, and, um, you know, turn this poor form around. And uh, the next chance is gonna be against Nottingham Forest, who might sound like a... Uh, not the most difficult team, but as we can see, they have more points than us in the table. They are third right now, so their team is incredible, guys. This will not be an easy one, but hopefully we can turn around this poor form. And uh, please do whatever it takes to get all the points. Oh my god, the front three is clicking! But I'm not able to get off the shot. That was such a nice attack from Arsenal. There's Nottingham Forest with Richarlison. And good save from the goalie there. Oh, what a ball that is. Nottingham Forest on the attack again. And Longa has caused us a lot of problem. Into Nico Williams. Dominguez and it is Nottingham Forest with the first goal and the poor form for Arsenal continues and that happens right before halftime as well. I cannot believe this guys. You know something must have happened and all of a sudden our season has taken a, a full 360. We were winning almost every single match. It was you know rare if we were losing. Oh my god come on can we do it ourselves? Cross it and we we'll find absolutely nobody. Can we get an equalizer before half time? That would be very nice. Into Erdegaard or Martinelli. Uh, cannot do anything there. And guys, this is not looking good. The stadium has gone silent. That is better from Arsenal. Can we finish this one? What a save! Come on, get up! Get up, man! Oh. What a run! That's absolutely insane! Can we get it back, Kimmich? Ref? What? Look, Martinelli as well! What's going on, bro? Teams are loving to play against Arsenal uh, right now, it seems. Come on, can we score this chance? Look, we cannot keep up. We just cannot keep up at all. And there we go. I think that Sokka has just pulled up with an injury. No wonder, because, I mean, we are, we are, we are being run into the ground at this football club right now. And are not think I'm going to get another one. Crossbar, what am I seeing guys? This is, this is, this doesn't seem real. We lose yet another match. United have won yet another match and 
I do not think they are gonna be um, dropping that many more points. So right now, we are down to 6th. We are not even in the top 4. And as we can see guys, United have 10 more points than us. I know it's early in the season. I mean, it's actually not that early. We are a third of the, through, uh, through of the way of the season, basically. Actually, we are more than third of the way. We're almost halfway through the season. Uh, maybe they have to focus on the Champions League or something. I don't know, but... Guys, against Crystal Palace on nine points. If we do not win this game, then I seriously don't know what's going to happen. Positive start to this game here, guys, for Arsenal. We look up for it today. Jorginho into center, and that is a miss, guys. But I've got a feeling we can get something out of this, you know. Let's see. Oh, the keeper takes it short. And Sander, with the second chance, have indeed scored it in the back of the net. That is more like it from Arsenal, guys. We take the lead against Crystal Palace. And I've been trying for this goal a few times in this series when they... You know, take it short. Um, you know, we have done it a couple times, but we haven't been able to actually score from it. Uh, but this time we get the two chances, and uh, now Arsenal, are we actually going to get three points? At least it's been a good start, guys. But you never know. And that is uh, an incredible pass. Crystal Palace straight back into attack. In our penalty box, and this is a big chance, Smith throw! The former Arsenal player has actually put it in the back of the net. Why does it always seem like these former Arsenal players, whenever we face them, they play amazing against us? Come on, Rafinha. Can we get a goal before halftime? Jorginho into Sander. And, nah. I mean, we're so tired, guys. We have no stamina left. We, we need to get some rest in this halftime. No doubt about it. And here, our Crystal Palace is going to get one more chance before halftime. And they've actually gone ahead and taken the lead. What is going on at this football club, man? We're down to Crystal Palace. And that's going to be the last thing that happens in this half. Oh my god. Nah, I cannot believe this. We do get taken off at halftime because we need rest. No doubt about it, or else we're going to get injured. So let's see if Arsenal can make a comeback and... Wow, we actually go 3-1 down, but then we pull two back, so what a crazy match, guys. And we're not able to beat Crystal Palace, which is so poor. Uh, United obviously won their game, so, you know, we know what's coming up next. It's going to be Manchester City. It's the best way to kind of respond after a bad period, but how on earth are we going to win this? Manchester City is keeping uh, lots of possession at the start of this game. Kimmich, what a tackle that is. Sokka into Sander now, and let's see, we've gone past, Bold, and now against Ederson, and we make it 1-0 against City, what a start to the match, take that. City has had all of the possession basically, but uh, no chances yet, Erling Haaland, now Erling Haaland again in our penalty box, Phil Foden, are they going to be able to create their first chance of the match, let's see. And Sander, no, we do not get it. And City have indeed equalized, guys. And to be fair, we knew it was coming, man, because they have just had 100% possession so far. Here comes City again. Are they going to be able to turn it around? Alfonso Davis, though, with some good defending there. And that is it for the first half. So, uh, so far, it is all even. This is going to be a crazy second half, guys. No doubt about it. guys come on oh they got with the pressure into center no somehow we cannot score that chance one on one against Ederson can we find a teammate in the box Jorginho what an assist against City and Jorginho is running all the way where is he even going nobody knows Nobody knows he's going over to the manager. I think that's because he's been under a lot of pressure recently. Wow. And we make it 2-1 against Man City, you know. And Sander provides an assist. Get in there. 
Anderson is so calm on the ball, you know. But uh, look at this pressure. We have a lot of players forward. Can we win back the ball? Almost. And now it is City with Erling Haaland. This game is far from over. Barella. Making progress. Oh no. Phil Foden. I don't like City being in our penalty box. But uh, that is good defending from the whole team. They've got a lot of players forward. If we can win the ball, maybe we'll, we'll have an attack. But hold on. Into Di Lorenzo. And City has indeed equalized. What is this game, guys? I cannot believe it. No, no, no. We cannot let City get the victory here. Erling Haaland, but Guardiol with some good defending. And wow, that is incredible. Come on, get that to Erdegaard. Arsenal, do we have the energy to create another chance? Erdegaard to Sander, the Norwegians. Give it to Saka. What is Saka going to do? Erdegaard. Merlin Martinelli gets the line by Anderson. Come on, Sander into Ödegård. Oh my God, what a moment, guys! Martin Ödegård. Oh, it's all about the Norwegians in this game, and it pulls out the theory on recelebration in front of the City players. What a captain he is, what a nerdy god. And we have our mother, huge assists. And this could be three very important points of the season. City now having a lot of players forward. They gotta try to do anything now. Griezmann, Barella loses. And can we counter in the third? Or I mean the fourth goal. Sander is going all the way with the pass back post and he passes it back in but that is surely it referee blows the whistle oh my god we really needed that guys after so many poor results this was very very important and uh, you know we contributed with one goal two assists as well so uh yeah, guys, very happy about the outcome of this match. And there we have a little bit of a handshake between the Norwegians. United also drop points, which makes this day even better. So yeah, guys, we're going to be ending it there. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I am completely drained. I have no energy left. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new one. Peace out.